All right, so we proceed from where we ended. And so we solved part A and uh, part B. We're just remaining with uh, C, D, uh, E, and F. So the reason why I'm solving all the questions, they all have at least a different um, a, a different approach in which you solve them. Okay. So this is what we have. So part C, the most important thing that you need to do there is simplify the expression. So the part C, the question is the limit of T open brackets, T minus five minus 24, everything divided by T squared minus eight T as T is approaching what? Eight. So if you try to put eight where there is um, T in this expression, you discover that the denominator is going to be eight squared minus eight times eight, which is just the same as 64 minus 64, which will give you zero. So on top, you're going to have a certain number, but down here, you're going to have a zero. And then any number divided by zero, the answer is undefined. So it's undefined or indeterminate. Yeah, so that tells us to say, um, we need to simplify this expression for us to work out this limit. So if you try to simplify and you don't find um, a better way or there is nothing or there is no way in which it can be simplified, then you just conclude that the limit is, um, I mean, the limit does not exist. But in this case, let us, let, let, let's try and, okay, let us try and see what or how best we can simplify this. So um, when you look at the numerator there, so when you look at the numerator, the numerator can be written as, when you multiply this, this will be t times t. I'm going to have t squared. We're going to have t squared. So we have the limit. Okay. All right, so we have the limit when t is approaching um, eight. So we said t times t on top there, we're going to have t squared. Then we have five times negative, negative five times t, we have negative five t. Then we have negative 24 there. Then the other thing that we need to do here is, um, I think down here, we can, uh, also say t open brackets, t minus eight. So now let us see how we can simplify the numerator uh, by factorization. Let us try to factorize the numerator. So when we factorize the numerator, we have t squared minus five t minus 24. Uh, the product here is, um, the product is uh, one times negative 24, that's negative 24. And then the sum is negative five. So any two numbers, or factors of negative 24, that if we add them, they're going to give us, um, they're going to give us negative five. So when you multiply eight and eight and three are going to get what? 24. So this, the, the factors in the previous um, session that we had, I'm, I'm sure I showed you how to find the factors. So the factors we have are uh, negative eight and three. So when you multiply negative eight and three, you are getting negative 24. When you add negative eight and three, you're getting negative five. So we can put them, uh, we can put our factors where there's, where we have the sum there. So we replace the sum with the factors. So we have negative, uh, rather t squared, then we have positive three t and negative five, uh, sorry, negative eight t. Then we have negative 24 this side. So the common factor between the first two, two terms here is t. When we open the brackets, we have t. When we factor out t from the first two terms, we have t plus three. Then we have minus eight open brackets, minus eight is common. Yeah, so when you factor out when, when you factor out minus eight from these second two terms, uh, I mean, yeah, these other two terms, we're going to have t plus three as the solution. Yeah, so from there, we can pick out the common factor, which is t plus three then open and close brackets there. Then the other part is 
T and negative eight. So we have T and negative eight there. Okay. So this is what we have. So we have this part and that part. So we can replace it on the numerator there. So on the numerator, so we have the limit as T is approaching eight. Um, of the numerator, the numerator can be written as t plus three over, sorry, t plus three times uh, t minus eight over t open brackets t minus eight. So t minus eight and t minus eight can cancel. So just remain with the limit of t plus three over t as t approaches what? Eight. So this one, if we try to put in eight there, you discover that it's, it's not going to give us undefined. And hence, um, this is how you get the solution to, this is how you get the solution to such expressions or to such limits. So what is T there, I'm going to put what? Eight, so I have eight plus three over. What is T there, I'm putting eight. So simplifying this further, we have 11 over eight as a solution. Hence the limit, as t approaches eight of this expression here is simply just what? 11 over eight. Yeah, so of t, t minus five minus 24 over t squared minus eight t. So the solution is what? 11 over eight. All right, so let's quickly see. You have a question? Okay, so let's quickly see how best we can solve D. So how do you solve D? D is also simple. Like I said, if you try to replace zero or you try, you try to replace the number that you've been given there in the expression there, if the answer is going to be undefined or indeterminate, make sure that you, see, you try to simplify the solution and see if it can be simplified. So if... Um, so if you can't simplify it, then the solution uh, of that limit does not exist. So let's see if we can simplify the, um, the expression on top there. So we have, um, we have the limit as h approaches zero of two plus h to the power three minus eight. Then everything divided by h. So let's try to simplify the numerator there. So the numerator, I'll start with, um, two plus h to the power three. So I have two plus h to the power three. So simplifying this, it's just the same as having two plus h there, then open brackets, uh, two plus h to the power two. So I have two plus h open brackets, um, two plus h to the power two, two times two, the answer is four, two times two, h, uh, two times h, the answer is two h, h times two, the answer is two h. When you add two h and two h, you're getting what? Uh, 4h, then h times h, you have h squared. So from there, we can now multiply this expression here with that. So 2 times 4, we are getting 8. Then we have um, 2 times 4h, we're getting 8h. Then we have 2 times h squared, we have 2h squared. Then we have h times 4, we have 4h. h times 4h, we have uh, plus 4 h squared, h times h to the power three, the answer is h to the power three. Okay, so this is what we have as the numerator there. So we have the limit as h approaches zero of um, eight plus eight h plus uh, this and that can add, which will give us what? Six h squared, then we have four h, where is this 4h coming from again? Because h times 4, that is 4h. Okay. Yeah, so this 4h and 8h can add so that we have 12h. 